Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Coming on screen. 
still can't believe Dr. Valen expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. Thomas Hutch, a friend of the Council, was riding in the limo at the bottom of those steps when it was hit by an alien ambush. We need you to find Mr. Hutch, make sure he's safe, and get him safely back to the Sky Ranger. New objective received. Hey, we could really use a hand with these things. If you're looking for Hutch, he's gone. We made a break down the street towards that delivery van as soon as we started taking fire. We were headed after him, but we got pinned down here. No way that just happened. 